Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to talk to you about something that I've discussed in the past, and it is missing uniforms. There are a lot of characters still that don't have uniforms, despite the fact that some characters, on the other hand, have multiple uniforms, like for example, do we really need 700 different uniforms for Captain America while other beloved characters have one that's terrible or zero? Probably not, but there's more to it than that from a financial standpoint of view, from a popularity standpoint of view. But I wanted to tell you that there are actually missing uniforms, not just ones that I want to be in the game, but ones that we knew or we were expecting to be in the game that never materialized. And in order to figure this out, as legitimately as possible, we're gonna have to take a little trip into the settings menu. From the settings menu, you go into info, and then, I know you've never been on this page before, but follow with me, you go down to staff credits. You click that and you get this wonderful uh, credits pull, okay? We're looking for the art director, that second person right there, Lee Ji Hyung. I know in Korean, you actually put the last name first, in English, we put the first name first, so you see Ji Hyung Lee, I say Lee Ji Hyung. It doesn't matter. Anyways, you go and you Google that man, Lee Ji Hyung, and you get his art station website or web page for his art. And he's a very prolific artist. I thank him for, you know, countless character models and wonderful promo art for Marvel Future Fight. The promo art that he makes is so good that other websites, you know, Gizmodo, Kotaku, all these gamer websites or, or you know, movie related websites actually have used his icons and his artwork to promote things like Avengers Infinity War because we still don't have a trailer for it because there's still no official artwork for it except some really grainy low res in the dark night vision photos. The guy is, you know, a vision of really great drawings. But if we go through his list, if we peruse through his list, you can see a lot of stuff that's not Marvel Future Fight, but also you can see a lot of iconic uniforms. We have Cho, we have the Luke Cage with the, you know, the, the high lapels, we got the X-Men, we got Gwenpool with the new uh, uniform with the mask off. We still don't have one for my boy Hyperion up there in the top left, but we will be getting to him soon. But I want to draw your attention to a couple in question. So we're going to start here with Amadeus Cho. We know we already have this uniform. However, if you go over to the next one, who do we see here? Medusa. And if you're clueless to the game or you don't play Marvel Future Fight, or if you just started, Medusa doesn't have a uniform. And by golly, she could use one. Good character, but definitely not up to par with some of the other Inhumans who have uniforms. You know, Black Bolt, her husband, already has two uniforms. Crystal already has a uniform. Karnak already has a uniform. And then there's the Queen with the telepathy and the, the hair that moves. And we got nothing. Where is this uniform, Netmarble? Just no, nothing at all. We were supposed to get it with the Monsters Unleashed patch originally. We got Elsa's uniform. We got Cho's uniform. Okay. Then we got another push of Marvel uh, Monsters Unleashed. And I, again, I know this is not a very popular run of comics. I know it's kind of off from the regular Marvel trail beaten path. But then we got Kid Kaiju's uniform. Again, Monsters Unleashed Marvel Future Fight variant. So we had a perfect time. We had, you had two perfect chances to give us this uniform. I'm not upset, although I might sound it. I'm just a little bit curious and in a rush. I want to know where's it at. But that's not all. Because if you take a look at the very next photo, you will see Elsa, yes. And then you go one further. And who do we see here? Okay, you might be a big fan of Jurassic Park. But it's actually Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl. And unlike Medusa, Moon Girl really needs a uniform. She is nigh unplayable. Uh, at least at tier 1 for me, and I don't think it gets much better at tier 2 as she stands in the game right now. And her main disadvantage, her main struggle is staying alive. She can deal some decent damage, she has some decent crowd control abilities, but she, even with a 30-foot dinosaur spinning its tail in front of her, she still manages to get one shot in a low level, like I'm talking stage 10, Shadowland, Rumble, or Wave, or Relay. And I have attempted to make her work to make Moon Girl good. But a, a uniform like the one that he already made artwork for would 
fit perfectly. It would boost the stats of Devil Dinosaur. It would give her, uh, you know, an extra 20% all defense, and it would go a long way to give her some HP rolls on that third option for the uniform. It would go a long way, and it's a win-win, Netmarble. You use the existing artwork that your, you know, tireless art director has already created, and the fans are happy because they get this giant robotic armored dinosaur, and you're happy again because you get to just take some of our crystals. You know, I got all these crystals now. I didn't spend them on your CTP BS. This would be a nice time to get me to spend them. But that's really not all. Because on top of not having those two uniforms, we still have some really iconic characters that are missing uniforms altogether or who have a uniform, but it's just really lackluster. And so instead of making a kind of long list of 20 different characters and kind of bombarding you with all these names, I wanted to just pick four crucial names, four crucial key characters that I think really deserve a uniform and have plenty of uniforms to choose from. Because that's kind of the argument that I hear from players who don't appreciate or can't see the light about the comics they say well cynic alex you know singularity yeah she could use a uniform but she doesn't really have a lot of looks in the comics or this character or that character or such and such well first off shut your mouth and second off i'm gonna hit you with some of the more deserving characters who will fit the bill for all of these so the first one i want to discuss is one that i have championed for a long time she's definitely been in the previous video even though i didn't look it up i can remember sin she has other iconic looks. She's got you can get do the nurse sin when she killed Steve Rogers. Spoiler alert. You can do Scotty when she got you know empowered. There are so many options for this character, and she came out with Sharon Rogers. Is that if that's not more of a of a reason to give her a uniform? I just don't understand what is. You know, Net Marble, you you took your art team and you took your developers into a meeting to create this Starlight uniform. You also then made Marvel agree to make some comics, some fake web comics, to kind of shoehorn her into the Guardians of the Galaxy featuring Space Knight Venom, who you called Agent Venom, okay? You went to all this work to promote a character that doesn't even exist in the Marvel Universe or, or in the MCU. Meanwhile, we have a character who has been established for decades, right here, in desperate need of a uniform. Other effects need to be changed as well, tier 2 passive for example, but still, there is no good reason not to give her a uniform. So for every uniform that you release from now on that doesn't include one of the six in this video, you're making yourselves look bad at this point because it's just gone on for too long, way too long. I mean, Sharon Rogers is predating Doctor Strange. Sin is predating Doctor Strange and Shadowland. Think about that. We've had Sin in the game longer than we've had Shadowland, and Shadowland's already changed once, actually twice, if you count three times, if you count major changes like Reflect, King of the Hill being added, and then the, the extra five stages, and the tier twos put, being put on the last five stages, okay? So I think I've made a good enough case for Sin. The next person I want to make a case for is one that has uniforms, but they are woefully underpowered, and given that he is basically the last Avenger who is garbage, Hawkeye needs and he has like 20 different costumes that he could be outfitted in he's getting kind of the uh, you know Nate late night club outlook or uh, uniform for uh, Infinity War as we see from the I think it's Vanity Fair or some entertainment weekly uh, newspaper I don't read magazines all right guys but I saw it on, on the internet on reddit and Fine, give me that one with the with the racing stripes. I don't really care. Give me Ronin. Give me old man Hawkeye. Give me anything at this point. Any one of his looks, probably iconic purple would be the best, but any of his looks with a substantial power increase would be championed. The community would love you for doing that and take my word for it. I know Hawkeye is not a powerful or popular character as far as, you know, the moviegoers are concerned. They don't really care about Clint Barton, but fans of the comics know how much of a badass he is and they will get behind those those uniform sales. They will purchase the uniform. Please do not make us wait until Infinity War to get a Hawkeye uniform. Don't do that to us. I know I said you could. I changed my mind. Give me one. Give us one now. The third character on the list is one that's extremely topical and I mentioned him at the beginning of the video and it is Superman aka Hyperion. Hyperion, if you're not familiar and you don't watch my videos, that sucks to be you, has gotten into 
fights and has been a villain at times and he was king hyperion as part of i think it's called squadron supreme or supreme squadron i always mix it up but anyways as king hyperion hyperion would be a monster character huge power increase really deserving of the fact that he's a paywall character we already have other paywall characters who have uniforms like kid kaiju so the precedent has already been set we will purchase the uniform it could make him a universal supervillain to compete with thanos to compete with dormammu i know he's not native tier two but he's paywall so you're gonna get some money back that way and it makes sense because of the fight he had with blue marvel you've already established and acknowledged that you know about that fight by changing him with anti-man if hyperion doesn't get a uniform with the nova update I don't know if he will ever get a uniform. So this may be the last time that anyone speaks on our mustard caped friend's behalf. Please, for Hyperion. Last but certainly not least, this is one for the YouTube commenters. Yes, as cancerous as you are, I read the comments and for once I agree with you. All of the X-Men have uniforms. Wolverine got one, Beast got one, Cyclops got one, Rogue got one. I skipped Jean Grey and I skipped Magneto. The only X-Men that didn't get one is Storm. My girl, Aurora, has plenty of amazing looks. We got the Mohawk, we got the other one, we got the other one. There's so many, I'm not even gonna list them all. There's so many looks that Storm could inhabit. And while I do really like this look, come on, you updated all the other characters' looks for the most part, why not? give storm a, a, a new look judging by the number of people in the comment section who just spam things like where stores storms uniform i'm telling you the videos don't even have to do with storm or with uniforms and they're still spamming that stuff you think they're not going to buy the uniform when it comes out oh they're going to buy two that's right they're going to make a second account put money on that account just to purchase Storm's uniform, and then they're gonna uninstall the game on that device. I'm telling you, Netmarble, that is a big win, and everyone would enjoy it. Nobody dislikes Storm as a character. Just putting it out there. If you're not gonna do it now, I guess you could coincide it with the Black Panther movie because there is some connection between the two characters um, as far as, you know, being together, married, etc. cetera. Um, but otherwise, give it to us now. Early Christmas present, what do you got? Let me know in the comments below what you think of my four characters. You get to pick one more to include in this list and you get to make your argument for why it should be. So I chose four. I'm leaving the fifth one up to the community, which is you. When I make the next video in this kind of plea series about uniforms in a few months or whenever I do it, I will choose the top comment and the top choice uh, to be included, not as my own, but as yours. So you will be featured for like five seconds in a future video. So there is your incentive to come up with the best character who is deserving of a uniform. Make a good argument or just spam. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As I already stated, subscribe if you're having a good time. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.